Olive and Ernest had Lois Hannah on February 3, 1963. She was one of four siblings and grew up on the family farm in Holyrood, an area close to Kincardine, Ontario, Canada, with her brothers, Jim, John and Dave. The attractive young lady was raised to be responsible and independent. She also had a nice sense of humour and was planning a future in fashion industry. She won two local beauty pageants and was placed second in the Miss CNE competition in Toronto. She enrolled in Fanshawe College's fashion studies programme as she wanted to work in the industry. After that, she was hired as a fashion consultant. Lois was very close to her father, and his death in March 1988 motivated her to spend more time with her mother. On the evening of July 3, 1988, Lois went to the Celebrate in 88 Festival at Lucknow Arena in Lucknow, Ontario. She and Dave decided to attend the dance that was concluding the weekend-long celebration of the community's 130th anniversary. At 11.45pm, Lois contacted her brother to let him know she was leaving for home because she didn't want to be late for work the next day. She made a little trip to her King Cardine home at 286 Nelson Street, arriving there at 12.15am. When Lois didn't show up on work next day, her colleagues were concerned about her as she was a very punctual person. The co-worker of Lois made the decision to drive over and see how she was doing. After receiving no answer, on doctor her colleagues feared she was ill and climbed through an unlocked window. Lois was nowhere to be found, so they called her brother Dave, who promptly dialed the Kincardine Police Department. When an officer arrived on the scene, he assumed that Lois had merely left and would soon return. Dave wasn't satisfied and put together a search team made up of numerous family friends. They prowled the neighbourhood on motorcycles and all-terrain vehicles and knocked on doors. Divers and two aircraft were also on hand for them. As the search extended into the night, the manager of the nearby Canadian Tire reopened the store so they could get flashlights. Dave issued a $10,000 prize for information leading to Lois's location. When nothing happened, the Ontario Provincial Police intervened. Posters for missing people were found in their usual place in the china cabinet, and the dance costume was hanging in her wardrobe. Only a peach-coloured nightgown and matching robe were missing, indicating that Lois had been home long enough to change and do her nighttime ritual. There were no indications of a struggle inside the house, and the doors had been shut from the inside. There were also no indicators of a forced entrance. Two pea-sized spots of blood on the wall near the side door were the sole indication that anything had occurred inside the house. During the course of the inquiry, hundreds of persons were questioned, including the Hannah family, who passed their polygraph tests and were found not guilty. In order to see if anyone or anything of interest might be noted, video footage and images from the dance were also gathered and various searches were conducted. Nothing of worth was discovered. Locals were consulted and it was discovered that two guys had been observed wandering about mags on July 4 morning around 9.30am. Excavations were carried out in suspected graves through hunters but revealed only animal bone fragments. According to investigators, Lois was either followed home from Lucknow Arena or had a house watcher and her killer was probably present at the dance. It's believed that the unidentified person followed her to Kincardine, kidnapped her, killed her and then hid her body. Given the absence of forced entry evidence, it seems likely that Lois knew her murderer. Over the years, rumours have circulated that Lois' demise may have been caused by Paul Bernardo, Carla Homolka, Pat Tackin or Russell Williams. As Bernardo was known to be on vocation in the neighbouring Owen Sound, investigators have disregarded his connection. Additionally, there is a perception in the neighbourhood that Lisa Leona Mayas, 22, who vanished on July 17, 1988, after leaving a party in Woodford, Ontario with a male acquaintance, and Lois' disappearance might be connected. 
along a blind road, running through a farm property, her green 1976 Plymouth Fury was discovered. The police questioned the man she had departed with, and he stated that he only drove her back to where her car was parked and then parted ways. In 1988, the OPP compiled a list of 14 potential suspects using DNA testing, all of whom were male. Later, all but one have been disqualified from consideration after being observed for nine months. In 2019, police received information that pointed them toward Eganville, in eastern Ontario. He reportedly relocated to the township from Lucknow only a few years previously, and Dave thinks he is somehow connected to Lois' abduction. It's crucial to remember that back in 1988, investigators questioned this person anonymously. A cadaver dog search was started in 2019 by a neighbourhood volunteer group, Please Bring Me Home. A local guy reported seeing a woman running in a nightgown and yelling for help between Lucknow and the family's Holyrood farm between 2am and 3am on the morning of July 4, 1988. This information served as the foundation for the resumed search in May 2023 with 40 friends family members, and those interested in the case. Also, a year later, in a nearby gravel pit, the man's son discovered a white bra. Two years after Lois vanished, the man apparently notified investigators about this, but felt he wasn't taken seriously. Additional information has verified this possible sighting. Her mother was devastated by Lois's abduction and died in January 2013. My mum died such a painful and sad death, and she never got over Lois going missing, Dave stated in a statement to the Eganville leader. She endured daily suffering as she awaited word on her young daughter, who went missing one evening. She waited for updates until she finally died. I bid her and Lois farewell for good. On July 4, 1988, Lois Marie Hanna vanished from Kincardine, Ontario, Canada. The 25-year-old woman was believed to be dressed in a peach-coloured nightgown and coordinating robe at the time. She was 5'4", tall, weighed between 119 and 120 pounds, and had brown eyes and wavy hair. Her teeth were reported to be in good condition, and she had a scar on her right upper leg. The Ontario Provincial Police believe Lois was murdered and her corpse was buried nearby Holyrood, Ontario. She was known to operate a Burgundy and Grey, 1987 Pontiac Grand AM, at the time of her disappearance. Investigators are interested in speaking with anyone who may have seen it on the night of July 3-4, 1988, in the vicinity of Lucknow and Kincardine. A $50,000 reward is being offered by the provincial government of Ontario for information leading to Lois's whereabouts.